Good day. I am in the new shed. Got a very interesting sound to it. I thought it was worth giving you a look around the new plot, but using this as the first of a playlist to show what we actually do with the plot. So really giving you a baseline of where it is at the moment and the plans that have come together. Now it's taken some time for these plans to come together because of getting the plot later than expected, then having a really busy time at work and in life. And um, I couldn't quite get my head around why I wasn't able to easily know how I was going to lay the beds out, the um, edge beds that we use. As you know, we use a lot of edge beds. And then I realised it was because the polytunnel that we're going to be moving from the plot over there to here was not actually facing the right way and was encroaching too much into the plot. Now, as soon as we turn that around, so instead of encroaching into the plot three metres, it was encroaching two, the, the bed layout all came together. So I'm really pleased that we took the time not to rush in, though there is lots of work to do, but not to rush in and um, just start doing things. So we've now got the layout. So I am going to go outside and show you the plot and also just sort of slightly explain why we're moving from the fabulous and pristine plot we have further down to this one that is actually a bit of a mess. Anyway, I'll get on with that now. This is the plot that we're moving to. So it goes up to the edge here, along. We already have a growing plot down by this shed, in front of this shed. That is a third of a standard plot. This one here is a half of a standard plot. And it's right next to this, which is the original plot that we got Oh, we're in our fourth growing year now. So we got this about three, three years, two months ago. So we've had three full growing years here. So I thought it'd be worthwhile in this first sort of full tour for this plot, if you like, to just take you through what is here. We've done that on some of the tours, our monthly tours, but I thought it'd be worthwhile just giving you a view. There's, it's very low sunshine, so there's quite a lot of long shadows, as you can see. So our plot begins just here, goes up to this post, which has got a cup on it, then right along behind the shed, then coming behind that green shed, which has had a lick of paint. Up front here, we're going right along. There's a rose bush. There's a rather decrepit compost bin. And there we are, that's the corner. So the plot goes up behind that shed. And there's about another metre at the side of that shed, which we'll have a look at. This compost bin is full of trash, really, um, and is pretty decrepit. And I think that's going to become a growing space. We will leave the rose bush in. You can see it's flowering at the moment. Look at that. What's that, the 5th of December, I think? 4th of December. Beautiful blue sky. Right, then we come to these beds. There's a whole host of, well, what is a whole host? There's one, two, three, four, five jiggity beds. Not really anything any rhyme or reason to them and all of these are going to come out this one here and here and this bed here another one over here they will come out and we'll reuse the wood somewhere else there's quite a lot of weeds in here this is actually i think a strawberry bed though it's got a whole load of weed in it the artichoke will remain there. 
I think what we will have in this space is we'll have a just get away with possibly a two point sorry I'm looking in the wrong place a 2.4 long bed 2.4 meter long bed up to the artichoke and then 1.2 meters wide and we will try and do the same on the other side of the artichoke along the edge here we're going to put a flower border there's already a lavender this is a lavender here just needs a whole lot of weeding everything needs weeding and covering so yeah it's quite a good bit of space there's already some cover on here but this is this is felt roofing which really shouldn't be put on the ground because it will just deteriorate and then what I have done is I've moved two of our beds edge beds from the lower area where we're vacating to this top area so it's my intention that we have two 2.4 meter long beds by 1.2 meter wide beds along here so that will give a 4.8 by 1.2 meter growing space and then we'll have a path and then we'll have another set of beds a path and then another set of beds a path and another set of beds i hope we'll be able to get five sets of long beds in here we'll definitely get four but i hope we'll be able to get five then there is a little pathway already which takes you to just the side of the shed this in the middle is a grapevine that we'll be taking out and we will have a flower border in here this area and then this area where my shadow is over at the moment has got quite a lot of raspberry fruit in and we will be taking that out and giving it a really good clean and then putting it back down so this is going to be a soft fruit bed and then the edge of the plot is along this these posts we can't really use the area between as a growing space because we need to keep a pathway between these plots right it took a while for me to think about this layout no, I'm not quite sure why it did that well one of the reasons is the polytunnel let me just swing you round we have the polytunnel there that is going to be moving to this area at the back behind this bed which will be removed it was going to face into the plot with the door this side but what I've decided is it's going to have the door here and be long ways along there let's just go over there so you can see it's three meters by two meters so with these two bits of wood I've marked out two meter wide and it will be three meters down here not exactly sure whether this little apple tree is going to remain but um, depending upon whether it is we'll move it obviously I don't I think this is going to the plot holder that's vacated in fact I'd like it to so yeah have a think about that what that will mean is that between the edge of the polytunnel which will come up to there and the edge of the growing beds which will go right down there there will be a sort of 80 centimeter pathway or meter pathway which goes right down so this bed as i've said is being removed now what we do have in here is we have the bascom which is loved by bees we've also got some other things growing in there you see the green there little which I think are bulbs I don't think they're garlic so the verbascum 
we have quite a few there's one there there's another one which you can't really see over here and if i spin you round come back up here there's another verbascum there and there's a tiny verbascum in the middle of the screen there all of those are going to come out and be potted up and will most probably go into the flower bed that we're putting down the side there so not quite sure what's going to happen in the area where the compost bins and the Dalek bins are at the moment um, but we'll work that out I think that might end up being some type of uh, rhubarb patch or it may end up being some type of pumpkin patch but we'll yeah we'll work that out as we do and then just turning around this shed has had a coat of paint so it's looking better I think Richard would prefer a grayer shade of green so we might be putting a wash on that in the spring but you know what it's been painted now and that will do for the winter and as you may have seen if you've seen my blog richardandpaul.com forward slash blog there's a whole load of bricks and tiles that we acquired so they can be used to hold down the cardboard when we lay cardboard down under these beds now we have another how many do we have of these we've got one two three four five we've got another five 1.2 by 2.4 meter beds so we'll use some of the wood from the ones that are being removed to make similar beds down here so really those are the plans what are the challenges well lots of weeds i mean look at this this is bindweed all of that knotted stuff is bindweed we've also got the creeping weed this creeping weed i don't know if you can see that which is a nightmare but yeah we will we will see how it goes the reason we're moving from really a perfect plot down there to this one is simply because it's next to the first plot we got it will be so easy so much easier in the long run to have the two plots together for watering for just for working generally really now where we do have the polytunnel at the moment that will become two further compost bays there is our main compost bay behind this polytunnel and there is a hot bin behind that as well so we'll extend the pallet compost bin using more pallets so that it's a three bay compost bin or at least a two bay but possibly a three bay and then that will mean that we may have further growing area up there for things that are quite happy with a bit more shade and this plot gets this plot is in full sun all the time and this one because of the buddleias and um because of the quince the quince on our neighboring plot here that does get shade so um and then we have this honeysuckle can you see that no wait a minute if i move there this is a honeysuckle which i've trimmed a bit um but that gives quite a bit of shade as well so i think there will be some reworking of these beds up here though i don't think that's going to be in this growing year i think that will be in the 2020 2021 growing year so there we are that's the thought process for this plot which i hope you have found useful we'll take you through the journey bit by bit and show you what we're doing though this will give you some idea of where we are and where our thought process is going okay Thank you very much for watching and we will see you again soon.
Bye.